And right now at 530, several West Michigan counties will soon be under a winter storm warning. A lake effect storm is expected to drop several inches between tomorrow and Saturday morning. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons tracking it all and begins our live team coverage. George. Yeah, it's going to be very impactful. You got, are you ready? Yes, yeah. I am. I've got my <laughs> shovel, I've got my snowbrush. I'm ready. Awesome. You're ready. Got those snow tires on as well, I hope. Yes. Outside right now, we've got basically just cloudy skies. Some snow flurries beginning to fall here in West Michigan. Lake effect has been affecting mainly the Lakeshore counties this afternoon. Let's uh, talk about the winter storm warnings and advisories. Uh, they go into effect at 7 o'clock this evening and last through Saturday morning. And then tomorrow at 7 a.m., we're going to see winter storm warnings extended inland. This is when the higher impacts will happen in Kent and Ionia and Barry counties down through Kalamazoo and Calhoun counties. Winter weather advisory means low to moderate impacts. Winter storm warning means moderate to high impacts here in West Michigan. And here are the impacts from Thursday through Saturday. Uh, medium icy conditions, high reduced visibility impacts, travel impacts very high, especially since this is the first real significant extended snowfall. Low chances for power outages. This is the snow through 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Already maybe an inch and a half to three in some areas along the lake shore. By the end of the day, three to five will have fallen. So this is definitely going to be a snowy event. And this is by Friday morning, eight plus perhaps here in Grand Rapids, and that will continue on into Saturday morning as well. Uh, downwind of the Great Lakes are where all of the lake effect snow warnings and advisories are in effect. Right now across the area, we do have some light snow falling, but a few breaks here and there. Temperatures are barely above freezing. Freezing. Closer look at the timeline of the, all that snow that's going to fall next couple of days is coming your way here in just a few minutes. Sounds like yesterday we got only a taste of what we will see in the next few days. Yeah, because now it's the lake effect snow's turn, George. Absolutely. Difference between yesterday's and this morning's snowfall was because it was a system snow, a lot of water content in that. Now it's going to be lake effect snow, a lot more air in it, so it's going to pile up faster and deeper. 13 weather ball is blinking bright. We have several multi days of lake effect snow in sight, and it's also green. No change to the 30s foreseen at least for one more day and this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. This is chance. Uh, there's a 100% chance that there will be snow for your walk. Chrissy, uh, going to be the yellow paw this evening and again uh, tomorrow. Maybe those little dog booties might uh, work, but uh, he seems uh, playful enough where uh, maybe I don't need it. Uh, we've got lake effect snow that's really pounded southwest lower Michigan, northern Indiana, down in through here, all the way into northern Indiana. But we've had some light lake effect flurries this afternoon and now beginning here this evening. And they're only going to be enhanced by the next weather system coming down out of Canada. This has just got a lot of cold air with it. And moving over those warmer waters of Lake Michigan, uh, the lake effect is already beginning to flare up at the lake shore and it will move inland throughout the day tomorrow. And as the heat of the day goes away, the lake effect goes down a little bit overnight, but then just flares up again. Everyone will see more lake effect snow, not only Friday, but Friday night into Saturday. And then after Saturday night, it starts to wind down. We actually might get a little bit of clearing late in the day on Sunday, but with that system coming down, that's going to keep our temperatures in the 20s for highs starting on Friday through Sunday. Heaviest to snowfall overnight will be west of us, especially over southwest lower Michigan. During the day on Friday, it will continue to pile up. You can see six plus here in Grand Rapids. Notice at the lake shore, there's a little bit less because the lake is still so warm, mid and upper 40s for temperatures. So uh, some of that's going to be melting. You'll see most of the snow away from the lake shore, especially from I-96 southward, where it could be eight plus inches worth of snow. The top end is a little undetermined at this point because there could be more than that. Big pattern change for the end of the month starting right around Thanksgiving. All of that cold air that's been overhead, it's going to be gone. Uh, high chances that will be back to warmer than average readings. Average at that time are in the low and mid 40s uh, with an equal chance of more or less precipitation. We'll get our chance, I think, right around Thanksgiving Day on into the early part of that weekend. Winter weather advisory goes into effect for the northern counties along the lakeshore at 7. Winter storm warning starting at 7 from the Muskegon area southward. Overnight lows right around or slightly below freezing as the lake effect starts to ramp up. Up north, you'll see lake effect snow showers, not the impacts there will be at the lakeshore. Northern part of our viewing area, mid and upper 20s, so what does
plus fall is going to stick. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, mid and upper 20s for overnight lows. And again, a morning commute will be impacted because of the slippery conditions, especially on those bridges and overpasses and less traveled roads. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> On Friday, as that system comes on in with the colder air, it will get breezy and that breezy weather will last all the way through Sunday. So there'll be some wind driven snow as well as falling snow. Highs below freezing all the way through Sunday after tomorrow. I'll be drifting on the north south roads. Uh, after that, Monday, we'll see mostly sunny skies and mid 30s, upper 30s on Tuesday with lots of sunshine. Sunny skies to start the day Wednesday and then overnight Wednesday night into Thanksgiving Day. Some rain developing highs in the 40s through Thanksgiving and then falling temperatures on Black Friday as some of that rain changes over to snow. The rest of the weekend looks mostly cloudy and more seasonable. Last couple of days we've had system snow. That's why it's been very wet, heavy snow. Now we have lake effect snow that is arriving. 13 weather ball is blinking bright. We have three days of that in sight and it's green. No change to the 30s foreseen at least for your Thursday. And this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Temperatures today mid 30s in the inland areas. It was warmer south and along the lakeshore upper 30s and even 41 in Muskegon. Our uh, 37 came within three degrees of the actual high. We've done that six days in a row. We had four tenths of an inch of snow today, now up to four inches across the board, and we've got a surplus for a change with snow now on the ground. The system snow departed earlier in the last night. Now we've got lake effect snow that has been kicking in to West Michigan. This is only going to get heavier as the next weather system comes down out of North Dakota. That's going to enhance the lake effect here in West Michigan. So not only lake effect moisture, but also some system moisture. You can see hour by hour, the snow will take a while to get into the Grand Rapids area. So lakeshore areas will be highly impacted overnight. That's why the advisories and warnings don't go in effect until 7 a.m. for the inland areas. But everyone will see significant snowfall throughout the day tomorrow. And again, during the day on Friday, this is going to be a three day event. It might wind down a little bit Friday night into Saturday morning, but it flares back up with some breezy conditions on Friday and Saturday that's going to drift some of that lake effect snow by Sunday morning. It's gone and in fact late in the day we actually may see the sun come out. Everyone is going to see lots of snow overnight. There could be a quarter of an inch here in Grand Rapids, an inch from Holland to southward, but throughout the day tomorrow another inch or two and then it really comes down here Thursday night into Friday and this will continue Friday into Friday night and Saturday. Some areas inland could see as much as eight plus or or more, a little bit less at the lakeshore because there'll be some melting of the snow. Uh, won't be quite as heavy there. Nonetheless, this is a plowable event. So again, winter weather advisories north of Grand Rapids, winter storm warnings to the south of Muskegon with highs tomorrow in the mid and upper 30s. Up north, you'll see mid 30s here with a low to moderate impacts from the snow and moderate to high impacts with that winter storm warning here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Highs will be in the mid 30s. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> Starting Friday, our highs will only be in the 20s, so the wind and the snow will continue to accumulate. There'll be no melting, and again, the snow will end abruptly Sunday morning. Sun coming out for Monday and Tuesday as we get back into the mid and upper 30s, and then starting Wednesday will be in the 40s through Black Friday before temperatures fall. There'll be rain Wednesday night into Thursday, and then a rain-snow mix on Black Friday.